Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight. And as you can see there, there was a thing going on. And there it is again, coming June 13th. All kinds of mercenary airplanes. We're getting an, an F-35. Which, you know, by all, by all rights, that should cost like $50 million. Be completely invisible to radar. Have explosive cannons and missiles. It should be the ultimate death machine. If it's truly an F-35. You can make it maybe maneuver a little bit less than a laser, but other than that, that's what it should be. And it'll probably be only available for a week. So. Uh, let me see if I'm recording. Let me make sure it's recording. Ah, eh, yep, there we go. We're good. I have lost so much video. But, I mean, you know, in some of my videos, you can see my desk. I don't even know where I'd put another, uh, another monitor. So, I am excited about this. It looks like it's going to be interesting. It could be way unbalancing to free mode, but I'd never go there anymore anyway. So, as far as having fun in an invite only with a, an overcooked uh, Avenger or a, an F-35... Putting missiles on the Avenger. That that that's an interesting thing. But as you can see, I have a lot fewer cars in here. I've been moving them off to the satellite garages. And so down here are the couple that seem like they would just fit in the garage. They're done. I, I may eventually move them off to satellite garages as well. But I mean having a couple car cars seems like something that this place would need, you know? But up here on the second floor are the, the works in progress. These two are, are pretty well, you know, upgraded, but plain. Still don't know what the plan is for them. Probably a future video. These two, one of them, and probably this blue one, is getting the taxi treatment. Because apparently, apparently, we're going to get to actually use it as a taxi. Now, how I make it different from another crazy taxi? That's the question. So we'll have to figure that out. Arch covers. Yeah, we could do. You could chrome this puppy up. Make it an elegant taxi. Leave the wheels. I, I know what you're saying. Well, why? Why do you even care about taxi stuff? Because it's fun. It's one of the things I actually like to do. Now, you have to realize the way I do it is by trying to go completely ignore the roads as much as possible and just crash through things, but see how long the car lasts. That's, you know, neither here nor there. I mean, the other way we could go is just paint the thing. We could go with secondary stuff, you know, secondary stock bumpers. Or even primary, because, I mean, the primary is not going to show. This depends on how you want to paint it. What kind of goofy do we want to make this? Chrome and, and elegant goofy? Or just completely psychotic goofy? Let, let's, let's stick with chrome for the, the you know, for the beginning. I like the stock a little bit better. Maybe we'll save some money on that. Rear bumper, same thing. We can always change it up. Double chromes. What gives us the most chrome? We could do that. We could do the short chromes. Or we could do those. Yeah, let's go short chrome so that we don't burn anyone's ankles getting in and out of the taxi. Chrome horizontal. Chrome 
vertical bars. Chrome aggressive. Let's go. We're, we're chroming this up. Hood. Is there an entirely chrome? Primary chrome ribbed hood. Chrome trim. What's, chrome, what's the difference between chrome trim and chrome ribbed? I don't see a difference in the trim. Like, what's the difference in the hood between those two? That one has slightly more chrome. We'll go with that because the color doesn't matter. Horn. And you know, it's going to be... It's going to be a, uh, a taxi build. We can say that it's somehow at the factory got the cop horn. Because it was going to a fleet and they thought it would be a police car. And Wow, that transaction. Is it pending or what? I think my backup's still running. Cop horn me. There we go. Of course, it just does that. Lights, neon kit, neon, front, back, sides, color. We'll figure that out later. I know it's early in the morning on a Sunday. Livery, downtown cab, we knew that. That's the whole purpose of this. Which you know, I'm looking at, I mean, these lights. Probably golden shower, probably. We're just going to go straight up yellow on this one. Livery we've done. And mirrors. Chrome squared. Chrome classic. From vintage. Do you want to do vintage here just to be vintage and fun? Ah, I think those look better. Wait, is there anything we could do here? We want to make it yellow and black at least. I think we're gonna maybe we'll leave this as it is. Respray, we ah, uh, let's see. The respray does affect certain things, like the secondary. Primary, let's make everything chrome. Ooh, ooh, we've accomplished something. Gang, we've accomplished something. The chrome bleeds through. None of the other paint jobs do that. Secondary. Gang, we have found a way to get ourselves a different looking cap. So the question is, do we want to go like completely, completely chromed like this? <coughs> or leave it like this? Two-toned. Well, let me let me back out here for a minute. And go back to hood and go primary chrome trim hood. It's for a true two-tone. I mean, we could make the whole thing this kind of weird brown. We could. But I 
Does anything else work that way? I mean, obviously, no. This will this will affect the uh, the frame rails here. <coughs> Nothing else bleeds through but the chrome. Screw, no. <coughs> Metallics, metals, brushed gold. The brushed gold will almost kind of match. That does give it a kind of a different sheen to it. We only have these. What do we need to do those? You have to win a rally race. We haven't won a rally race with him yet. To set that up with a uh, paint crook and we could cheese that. You'll still need two other people. You have to win it with somebody else. Right, let's go pure gold for right now. Golden frame rails. Let's see, or should we want it? Yeah, that's, that'll be fine. This is funky. That's a funky effect. All right. Trim color. Do we still want... I, I was going to go with the blaze red just to... Uh... Oh, I didn't want that, but I want the caps lock here. Boop. Does that work? Just like the regular crazy taxi has a red interior. But are we going truly crazy here at this point? Yeah, I think that might actually work. Although, I'll tell you, with a white interior and a taxi, it's a bad plan, isn't it? We'll leave the graphite. Roof? Secondary roof. That kind of works, too. Look at that. Looks like we got a yellow card and we did a little bit of customization to it. Okay. Roof accessories. We need something for the proper handling. Chrome, yeah, we'll go. We'll go chrome. We don't want to put luggage on because that implies that we've stolen their luggage and we're <coughs> driving around normally. Sunshades. Classic secondary. Yeah, I think that let's, that flow works well. Suspension. <coughs> Does it make sense to slam it in the ground? Slam the low rider. Or maybe just a little lower. For the street. Trans. Race it up. Trim. Chrome lower trim. Yeah. You don't want to do the whole bottom, but primary trim plate chrome. There we go. The chrome mobile. So much chrome. Turbo me up. Wheels, tires. Tire enhancements bulletproof. I think we want to leave the white walls. Windows, you always do a little light, but that does look good. All right, we might be. I'm not interested. So let's take it out. Maybe we'll try and catch up with the pink room. Welcome to Chrome Cab Company. Hello. Wow, that really does just go between brown and pure chrome. So 
we're ready for if we get to use this as an actual taxi. Now, when will I get to use this as an actual taxi is a little bit questionable because... Well, I'll tell you what, gang. I've, what I've been doing is I've been trying to load up as many videos as I can, especially the racing videos. So that my Sundays, you got a racing video, even if that particular week I didn't get a chance to do any videos because it's June. Life is life is getting busy. You know, my schedule kind of full at this point. There's a lot going on. I've got multiple projects going on that do not relate to video games. And when this when this DLC releases, I'm, I'm not real sure. Shut up, Martin. Shut up, Martin. Uh, by the way, in real life, I don't generally tell people to shut up. To shut up, but you know, for Martin, yeah, I'll make an exception. Hey, have you talked to Martin? You have no idea. That that looked rather unreal. Um. So, like, when this DLC drops, like, I'm not really. I know that week is just booked. So, I mean, I'm not going to be able to be sitting in the game for a few hours going through all the, the content. Luckily, there's all of the YouTubers who are, you know, down in the description in the GTA uh, reference library there where you can see all kinds of stuff going on. And I'm, I'm going to be mostly a consumer again, as I have on other DLCs. Watch the other watch the other stuff. Eventually, I will get into it and I will share with you. Someone film that shit! I'm just parked here. What are you talking about? I mean, he likes to chrome. Hello. Oh, he's taking my picture. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So at some point, yeah, I'm going to partake in this DLC, but, you know, that week I'll be lucky if I can even, you know, partake in any FOMO activities that are going on. You know, maybe I'll get to buy a couple cars or something like that that are only available for the week. But, I mean, you know, other than that, I don't see myself, you know, if there's like, oh, complete all these in the, you know, missions in the first week and get $10 million. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to pull that off. There's just too much going on. So, just so you have that expectation set, you don't think, well, gee, he's not partaking in the DLC. Something must have happened. No, I'm just really busy this month. Possibly next month. I've got races pretty much loaded out through the end of July. So, I mean, you're you're in good shape there. And maybe, you know, if I can get a few more in, we'll get us into August. But, yeah, that's about where we're at with that, folks. So I've got myself my taxi. I've, I've moved a bunch of cars off to my satellite garages, so I have room in the, uh, the agency to work on things. And uh, that's about where we're at. So it's a short video. Not gonna take this up chili yet or anything like that. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy the new DLC as it comes out. We'll see what happens with it. But again, I might not I might be might be lagging a little bit behind here because I've got a lot of stuff going on this month. All kinds of interesting and different things going on. So And you may see some of it, you may not see some of it. We'll have to see what goes on. And on that cryptic note. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, Optimus, what's the plan? Boobies. Okay, little little short thing here. I called in my acid lab and it said you are unable to access the acid lab here. Well, then why did you put it here? Like, huh? You have to move it an inch forward or something weird, or an inch back? Let me just back up. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Whatevs. Let's find a better place. Like, what if we just were to work right off the, the, the median? That'll work. It's happy here. We'll go right off the median. I'm a 
about to blow your freaking mind with nothing but an idea. Home delivery. We bike up and throw the candy right in front of our customers' houses. Totally under the radar, crazy convenient. Now, if this works, maybe we could start an app or something. Not so much a house, is it really? I mean... I'm mostly recording this in case something funky happens. Okay, sometimes. Here's funkiness. Again, not so much a house. Sometimes funkiness happens. Sometimes you gotta make it happen. <laughs> Again, not a house. That's impressive. Kaboom! Kaboom! Oh! That looked like a groinal injury. Oh! <laughs> right to people's homes, huh? I hope nobody's living here. Let's see, we're halfway through. Shouldn't someone try to kill me at one of these? No, that's route two. right path. Yes. Mike's got a good amount of torque, so you can do stuff with it. Slightly failed the uh, G Fred line sort of thing there. Alright, let's just Oh we're going out here, of course. No one's, no one's here to bother us. You're going to have to take the monkey. Still bomb. Don't throw it so hard. Like a broken neck, didn't it? Well, that's more convenient, I guess. Or... It'd be funny if you could see your like broken neck rag doll wherever it landed. Be a little weird. And people would definitely do some kind of thing where they would glitch the game where it make you die a thousand times in one place and Okay now this is actually somebody's house, so I think. Apparently they like acid here. Bomb life's boring. Yeah, 
But did I die? No. Maybe soon. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. We did it without alerting them. Yeet! Eat from the street. How far away is that point? Almost drove right into a wall there. Okay, we're getting there. Yeet. All right, so we are getting to some people as well. That was a whole amount of this. Is a, where am I going? My back door. If I miss, you get extra acid. One more. Where is it? Just got back from Illinois. Locked the front door, oh boy. Look at all the heavy creatures playing on the lawn. By the way, the channel does not recommend you take acid in any way, shape, or form. Okay, do do do. Drive away and get money. Get cash. Do, do, do. Looking out my back door. Wolf. Wow, and you made great time on a bike. You were on the Yayo, right? There's that. Okay, Optimus, what's the plan? Boobies. Work it, work it, baby, work it. Work it, own it.